Hello guys and gals, Buffalo here. Welcome back to the range. Today I've decided to feature my North American Arms model NAA-22S. You can see it is chambered for the short, 22 short, one and one eighth inch barrel. Very, very small revolver. If you were to pick one of these up, they come in a cardboard box like this, but they also are in a metal lock box. This metal lock box serves as your gun lock. They're legally required to provide you with a way to lock your gun. So they give you this little lock box. So here's a look at it. Whoa! <laughs> look at that. That's a just a behemoth of a revolver, right? Look at that little guy. And these are so small, you do have to be careful handling them. It's real easy to muzzle something. Uh, if you're not paying attention just because it is so small first thing we'll do is a little safety check here we'll remove this little takedown pin slash ejector rod this little button on the front you push it and just pull that out put the revolver on half cock which this one already is now the half cock on this revolver is not meant to be used as a safety you don't carry it on half cock I'll show you that in a minute Look at this little cylinder, little five shot 22 short cylinder. I've got a quarter dollar here. Look at that. Quarter is bigger than the cylinder. So, very, very small revolver, but it actually has these little safety notches in between the chambers. And that's you rest your hammer in those safety notches so that it's not resting on a live round. That's the, the safety on this little revolver. Of course, it is a single action, so it's going to be pretty safe. You notice it doesn't even have a trigger guard, but it's pretty safe unless you've actually got it cocked anyway. But you do want to keep it in those safety notches just in case you were to drop it or something like that. Let's put our little takedown rod or ejector rod right back in there. That's all there is to it. I'm always amazed at the machining and the attention to detail on these little revolvers. I'll drop that hammer down. Oh, if you ever want to struggle with a simple task, do it while watching through a camera viewfinder. There. I've got the hammer resting in one of those safety notches. But I'm always amazed at the attention to detail on these little stainless steel revolvers. You can see the serrations on the hammer there the knurling on that takedown rod or ejector rod you, all, you also use it to knock your empty cases out with so you may hear me refer to it as a takedown rod or an ejector rod it serves both purposes again no trigger guard here doesn't need one the trigger doesn't even engage until it's cocked I'm not going to dry fire this it does say in the owner's manual it does warn you against excessive dry firing. I guess it's okay to do it every now and then, but it does warn you against excessive dry firing, so I'm not going to do that since I don't have to here. little half moon front sight. You can see there's no rear sight to speak of. You just kind of level that to the bottom of the front sight and place that front sight in the middle of your target. It's obviously not a long range affair with this little pistol the little gun measures about 3.63 inches lengthwise 2.38 inches tall and 0.88 inches wide again very small revolver weighs in at about four ounces it is chambered as i mentioned for five rounds of 22 short there's a 22 short for you and these little revolvers are available in 22 Magnum, 22 Long Rifle, but the 22 Short is the smallest of these revolvers. It's the smallest one that North American Arms makes, so that's what I wanted to show in today's video. And I know there are smaller revolvers. They advertise this as the smallest five-shot revolver in the world. There are smaller revolvers out there, but they usually use uh, proprietary ammo. They're nearly impossible to import into the United States because of our importation laws are just too small. So 
this is practically the smallest revolver that you're going to get a hold of that, that can shoot readily available uh, mass-produced ammunition. You can see the 22 short there, 22 long rifle, 22 magnum. I wanted to show those together. And again, here's that quarter just for size reference. And just because I think they look so weird together on screen, I wanted to show you guys my smallest revolver along with my largest revolver. <laughs> look at that. How one makes the extremes of the other just look weird. This is the Taurus Raging Hunter in 460 Smith & Wesson, by the way. <laughs> they, they look cartoonish together, I think. Anyway, there are a lot of accessories available for this little revolver holsters, grips, they make a little laser. I've even seen a little bayonet that you can put on these things, a little knife blade about that long. So uh, you can get accessories for it. Manufacturer suggested retail on these, I think is around $226. And that's about what they go for. So usually when I give MSRP, I'll tell you that they, they usually go for less than that in the store, but uh, this one usually goes for about that price. The ammo that I'm going to be using in today's video is this CCI Hollow Point 22 short. Copper plated. Advertised velocity 1105 feet per second with a 27 grain bullet. Of course, we won't be getting 1105 feet per second out of that little one and one eighth inch barrel, I don't believe. So we'll start out with some chronograph work. Ah, uh, that was a duplicate. I'll throw that one out. So it looks like we averaged about 680 feet per second with a standard deviation of 28.7. And with that 27 grain bullet, that comes to about 28 foot-pounds of energy. All right, I've got a B8 center target out there at about seven yards. Let's see what kind of group I can get with this little mouse gun. Look at that recoil for a little 22 short. Not too bad, actually. I've got three in the X ring, which is pretty dang good for that little revolver in the sight picture that you get with it. Then I got two way up here. Looks like that top one, keyhole. And it'll do that from time to time. I have noticed that it does, it doesn't keyhole every time, but it does tumble every now and then. I did notice there while I was shooting that one of my little rosewood grips shot loose. I don't know if I showed the grips at the first of the video or not. Got some really neat little bird's head rosewood grips on it. But my grip screw shot loose. You can see it wiggle there. I need to remove that screw and put a little Loctite on it and retorque it. But I wanted to show you guys how to reload this revolver before I wrap things up. Pretty simple. Put it on half cock. Press the button at the end of the take down rod, pull it out, push the cylinder out the right hand side 
of the revolver. You've got your empties in there. Sometimes they'll fall right out. One of those fell out. Other times, you need to use your little ejector rod that I just pulled out. It, it, the same thing I'm calling a takedown rod. Just push those empties out. Of course, then you just drop your loaded cartridges back in. Replace the cylinder from the right hand side of the gun again and replace your takedown rod. Press the button and you'll feel it uh, when it lines up with the hole in the middle of the cylinder there. Now pull back on the hammer, rotate the cylinder until you're aligned with a safety notch, pull the trigger, drop the hammer. We are now safe to carry. So, um, purpose of this little gun, of course, you know, it's going to be a defensive weapon. It's a, I would call it a last ditch revolver because if, if it's down to where you're using this thing, things have gone pretty well gone south for you. Get all those out. But for me, this is just a a conversation piece kind of a just a collectible you know when I get this out it always starts up a conversation just how small can they go with these little revolvers and uh, how small is too small to carry for self-defense and that sort of thing some people do carry these and these have saved lives James over on the all outdoors channel I'll link his video in the description of this one. He tells a story where he's pretty adamant that one of these little, it wasn't the short, I don't think, but one of these little miniature revolvers saved his life. Because there are times that the mere sight of a gun will de-escalate a situation. Better than a sharp stick, you know. I uh, hate to sound cliche, but that's just a fact of the matter. But that's all I've got for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and hanging out with me here on the range. Always keep in mind that freedom is the greater good.